Hola a todos, me llamo Data y tu madre es tan estúpido, ella compró un linterna de energía solar. Okay, yeah, you're probably all sick of that stuff. And I'll bet you really don't want to have another joke session. Because, honestly, if you want to hear the jokes, just go out and get the book. It's, it's well worth it, I, I assure you. Now, this is actually an overdubbing, because my first session was actually exactly that, a, a bunch of jokes. And, well, two in a row, you guys, I think you kind of deserve better. Even if you don't, I'm giving you better. So, I'll be completely ignoring what's happening on screen, by the way. I do go back to heal at one point. Uh, I slipped in a shot of drowsy, intending to do a stupid, ooh, it's eating my brain kind of joke, okay, but that, that's going to be ruined for everyone. Um, no. Uh, let's see. What should I rant about? Not the Collector's Value Guide to Pokemon Cards. Why is this in my room? I don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's basically a big long list of all of the cards up until I think the fossil set. Or yeah, the, uh, fossil set. Then I don't know if the gym leaders had their own separate set. No, the rocket set actually. Rocket set. This is goes. And. At the time of this publishing, Rocket was only available in Japan. Of course, now we have a bunch of these cards in English. It's got the incredibly badass Dark Charmeleon thing. And it's actually a typo here, Bad Charizard. They refer to him as bad rather than dark or whatever we call him, I don't remember. And it has Golduck shooting a laser beam out of its forehead, that is awesome. Um, wait, no, it's not, the Charizard thing isn't a typo, they just put the same image twice, because they have Charmeleon on the next turn. And in case anyone's wondering, uh, it's Walui Lizardo, or Walui Lizardon, which is where Waluigi gets part of his name. Clever Japanese pun that not many people will get, honestly. So it's got all these cool pictures. A lot of them are holographic uh, cards, actually. They're not printed holographic in the book, of course, but... It's really cool looking, especially the ch Machamp, damn. Primeape is green for some reason. The Rapidash has horrible art, I have to say, in that picture. Um, oh, and now we're getting into the team uh, gym leader section. Where Brock's Onyx is stuck in a watermelon for some reason. Don't really know why. And it goes out of order. It goes from Brock to Erica. I don't know. I don't know. Giovanni has Gyarados. And also Magikarp for some reason. Wait, can this only be... Uh... No, it doesn't really matter. I was wondering if you can evolve the gym leader's evolved form from a regular non-gym leader form. That would make things too easy, probably. Of course, back when I played, I didn't give a shit about the rules. I just played with a couple of my friends. We really didn't care about the rules at all except the 60 cards in the deck rule. No, no really caring at all. Um, here we go. To, yeah, it goes uh, Giovanni, then Koga, then Lieutenant Surge, then Misty, and then Sabrina. Jeez, weirdos. And then it goes to Blaine. Blaine is just so awesome, I have to say. And how lazy is this? Sabrina's Slowpoke picture is seriously just that same Slowpoke image that we always see on stuff like 4chan and stuff like that. This is boring looking. And right next to it has, well, two spaces away, has Venonat shooting lasers from its eyes. How awesome is that? Incredibly awesome. I don't even care. Um... Oh, on the Orange Island set. I remember the Orange Island set. Um, I always wondered if I could, like, if I collected all of them, I would put them into that collage that they're all made from, and it would be awesome. But I think I tried it uh, a couple times, and it didn't exactly match up, and I kind of said, oh, screw it. If I can find unwatermarked uh, images of those, I'd, I would still be interested. I would make it, like, my background or anything, but 
If anyone knows where I could get unwatermarked, like, not the Poke Beach stuff, which, the, with the text in the corner, like, unwatermarked, that'd be, that'd be great. It would be awesome, actually. Oh, uh, let's see, we could scroll back here, as just, this, anyone remember the old Dragonair sprite, where it's in a lake, and it's all pretty, and then the Doduo sprite, where it's running really fast, and it's all streamlined. Gyarados. Remember Gyarados where it was like neon yellow stomach and fins and whatnot? That was awesome. It, it was always surprising how different the styles would be. Like Electrode and Ghastly were 3D rendered. Growlithe is really a boring 2D thing. Uh, Haunter, I don't even know what the hell. Coughing is a very stylized little thing. Uh, really very varying styles. Like, Ken Sugimori, I did not did not make all these drawings. And, wow, Jinx is already... Aha. Uh -huh. Jinx. The Japanese card has black face. English already has purple. I'm surprised. Uh, now we're getting back to the gym leaders, don't care. Oh, Sabrina's Jinx. Uh, the Japanese card has black face. Sabrina has several Mr. Mime, I see. Oh, well, let's see. Image cards. Oh, they have a card for, I mean, a, a page for identifying counterfeits. And, uh, well, they have a picture of a counterfeit and authentic, and honestly, aside from the colors, you can't really tell, and the colors aren't very reliable, uh, source, because the Japanese cards are a slightly different colorations in terms of intensity of the ink and whatnot. So, really not a good judge. Um, beware the Q-Boy cards. Also, who cares if they're real or not? Uh, when you're playing the game, like, battling, it doesn't matter if they're real or not. Oh, and here's the one. First edition Charizard for $240. Remember when Charizard was, like, really rare and stuff? It was pretty cool. And then Blast Wars and Venus are 2 and 3. All kinds of Sam and Zapdos. It's a funny story about Zapdos, except I'm not funny at all. Um, when I was a kid, I had a holographic Zapdos, and it was awesome. Then a, a couple of my homie brother's homie friends started making trouble in our neighborhood, say, hey, I want that Zapdos. I'm like, no. So they, they took it because they were three years older than me. Never saw it again. Pissed me off to no end. Oh, and here's a section about the all the Pokemon comics, mangas. Or one sec. The Electric Tale of Pikachu. Anyone remember that? She was so cash. This is the one I think drawn by the hentai artist. It was, it was cool. It was really, really cool. It didn't really make a whole lot of sense. It was where like the different Pokemon had A, B, C ranks based on rarity. And, uh, Professor Oak was like really grizzly and kind of, not as old actually. Pokemon symbol wasn't really much of a Pokemon symbol. The Pokeballs had numbers on them. It was such a cool comic. I think I only went into the Orange Islands, though, which is unfortunate. Like, the plot wasn't as well developed as Pokemon Special Manga, but damn, that had cool art, I have to say. Really cool. Uh, the Ancient Mew. Do I still have an Ancient Mew hanging around here? I think I have the actual card here somewhere. Oh, it's sworn, but I guess probably in my closet, I guess. But oh, well, there's a picture of him here. And remember, they had a contest saying, "Hey, design what the ancient Mew card says on it." And the only thing we really know is that it says Mew, and it's only attack requires two psychic energies. I don't remember what people sent in. I don't know if they even made anything out of that, but. It's really cool. You got it. Uh, is it for Mewtwo Strikes Back or Pokemon 2000? No, Pokemon 2000 movie. At the very end, somehow the card was involved. I guess Lawrence the Third had one, and he was like, "It all started with this." A jewel containing that? No, no, a card, a card, and yeah. But I don't think it really did anything. So I don't know if they could revisit that. That would be pretty cool, but they won't. I mean, they're going to revisit the GS ball before they revisit that. 
Oh, here's a bunch of different types of decks. A speed deck, evolution-based deck, energy cards, terrain cards. That's, there's only two kinds. Uh, some people like to hit fast and hard. Uh, like, you don't have to evolve them. And they hit uh, a lot of damage, but they're kind of fragile. An evolution-based decks where you have bulkier stuff when you evolve them over time and level that. Give Hitmonchan as an example of speed-based. Make sure you have a lot of these basics, but no more than four of any one kind. I guess you can only have four. Card game lingo. Basic Pokemon, energy card, hit points, and retreat is the only stuff that's really lingo. The rest is like, you actually have to, oh, hey, we're finishing. Well, that was a bizarre tromp through memory lane. This thing costs 10 bucks. If you ever see it, pick it up for the nostalgia. See ya.